Hey there, my Parkscape peeps. This is the second, well, it's the, technically the first episode, but it's, you know, it's the second episode. Um, we are well on our way. We got the vintage pack and it is downloaded. The park works great. Um, we're going to try and do, we're going to try and do this today. Um, and I know that it, <laughs> it's going to be a difficult thing because of, the way that that uh, that uh, arch is kind of going down, but I always I remember seeing this concept artwork, and I remember seeing a, a bunch of other pieces of artwork that you know they were going to try and apply for Paradise Pier, and um, it just never happened. I always thought that this would be a really cool way to have people enter, um, and also solve some of the problems that I think the real Paradise Pier actually has. It's, Typically, what is here is the Avalon Cove, um, or whatever the heck it's called now, I don't know. There's a trinket shop here, and then there's some sort of um, ice cream shop, and this thing, this path goes down to the main level, and then California Screamin' is just kind of pushed in this area. Um, that's how you get into the queue, and then you go, rit, 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 and then there's a double station and everything like that. The problem that I always had with it is that it it wasn't a big enough marquee. It's, an, it's not... Hmm. How do I say? It, it's ugly. <laughs> the Incredicoaster has helped a little bit, but it still feels very chaotic. And what I want to see when I, when I come into this area from this bridge is I want to see... Boom. I want to see that... that entry right there because honestly that's the big draw of this area and it really should um it really should draw people in immediately and the nice thing about having something big over here too especially that really cool art shape um is that you can probably see it all the way when you're standing over here and looking over this way you can see exactly where it is to queue so that's what I'm going to try. Um, first, I'm going to do a little bit in the um, kind of setting up the paths and stuff like that. Oh, you can see I've also been working on a little bit of rock work over here, too. You know, just because it's Paradise Pier on the California coast and uh, there's no there's no rock work. So um, I wanted to kind of introduce a lot more of that. Um, so I'm going to do a little cut here and we'll see when I get done with the, uh, the pathing. I'll, I'll see you then. Here we are again. I've done a little terraforming, a little pathing. Um, so when you enter this area, you can see that this is a big wide entrance and I don't know if it's terribly realistic. I, um, there might have, there would have to be like two people there to make sure that nobody under 48 inches is going. Um... But, I mean, I like it. I like that it's a huge funnel for the area. I think we'll probably do, like, a little planter here. And then my plan over here is to, um, is to exit into a gift shop because Cali Screamin' does not do that. And it's a, it's a big ride that carries a lot of people. There's no reason why a gift shop can't be here. And then to kind of mix it up, um, you've got to ramp down to get to the, the base level of Paradise Pier. And then you also have this little staircase area where I'm gonna be doing some planters and some really cool uh, flowers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I really like where this is headed. I'm probably gonna start blocking out uh, this building next, um, just to see, I've got my little archer for scale there, um, just to see how big this, this building would be. All right, bit of a slow start, but um, I kind of wanted a cool shape uh, when you're heading into this area, and an octagon is always good. It definitely gives you those boardwalk vibes. Um, I don't know what this is all gonna be, but I know that I know that I like what's happening here. I like that it's dropping into a gift shop, and then that's accessible from the, the front here. Um, let's see. Well. I don't know. Maybe I'll change it up a little bit. I think I like where this is headed. I think I, I think I like that arch shape or that arch shape. Um, it seems to be nice and grand without being too large and too big for the space. Um, I can already tell that this is going to take a heck of a lot of time. So there's that. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. I'm 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 digging this. I'm seeing the I'm seeing that it's starting to look like that here a little bit. Um, I'm not crazy about how segmented it looks, but um, I guess I can fix that. I'll probably have to do the windows as walls technique um, because these pieces just don't get much smoother. But no, I I, I like what's this headed. I think I think this is good. I think we're on the right track here. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. So, <laughs> good lord, um, the these these tunnels they're they're all different sizes. So it's a different sized arch here, and a different sized arch here, and a different sized arch. And then when you get into the center, it actually punches down like a it's with forced perspective. And oh, this is. This is taking a long time, but I, I I do like where it's headed though. Okay, checking the artwork again. Um, well, it it's hard to see. It's hard to see because it's just freaking gold at this point, and there's some weird statues. I'm not gonna incorporate the weird statues, but I decided to kind of give an ombre a little bit. So as you're kind of going into the darkness, um, it starts with this light aqua, goes into the blues, and then into the purples. I kind of like it. It's not totally with the artwork, but uh, it's not bad. Also started working on the uh, the string lighting. That's going to be a pain. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. This is insane. All right. Onwards and upwards. One more window and another. Oh, what's that? That's another window. Okay, so here was the part I was dreading. <laughs> I'm at I'm at this point in the park now, and uh, this was this was way too segmented, and now I have to do the windows as walls trick. And uh, yeah, spoiler alert, it sucks. It's you have to redo basically everything. Uh, but what I also wanted to show you was this really cool. I use those little um, Illuminaria stars from the festive set, and it makes a really cool little like whoosh down the tunnel. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, but yeah, here we go again. <laughs> trying to finish this thing. Okay, well, we're we're getting there. Um, I added a little bit of lighting, and you can see in the tunnel. Ooh, what's that cool effect? Um, it seems to be something to do with the art pieces, the way that they reflect, because it's just a few lights underneath, um, but it makes a really cool kind of like iridescence. Um, I really like it. And then I've started kind of playing with colors on the outside, and oop, went a little too far here. And I don't, mm, I don't know, it, it may be getting a little garish for me. Um, uh, the uh, all the motion is getting a little disorienting. I might I might take it down a bit. I feel like I'm so close to finishing this thing. I mean, uh, uh, this is a little patch here, and th th there's this one to do, and uh, there's a there's still a lot to do. Unfortunately, I gotta I gotta do all this, and all this, and all this. But hey, I, I I do like where it's headed. It's a little different from the artwork, you know. It's 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 certainly less garish, I think. Um, I think it's a little bit more in that classic pier style. Okay, I'll be totally honest. I took a bit of a break from this thing, um, and I wanted to work on some pretty flowers and using that new vintage set. Woo! Um, I really like this little planter. I <laughs> it's it's very cute. It kind of does what it needs to do. I thought about maybe putting a water feature here, but I don't think it necessarily needs it. Um, I think a water feature will be better placed in like the Paradise Park area where I can do a little bit more of a nautical theme. But here, um, I think just a, a simple round with uh, a seeded planter and, and some palm trees, or a palm tree. Um, I might put some palm trees over here too, like in this area, just to kind of give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of foundation, yeah. But I like the the color schemes that I used are very very simple. 
Um, it's a de desaturated primary scheme, so it's really light yellow, uh, dark reds, and a dark blue. And here we are! I have... well, I finished for what I wanted to do today. Um, <laughs> really freaking like this. I really, really like this. So, first things first, I mean, the sign's not in yet, the California Screaming Sign. Um, that will probably be its own episode because the signs are so hard to do, and I need to figure out what I want it to look like, honestly. Um, if I look back over, I put that, I put this back over here. Let me grab it. That is a, that's a massive sign. I don't think I want something that large and, and, and big. <laughs> Just, it's... You can see the scale of the peeps to this thing, and I think that I think that is just a little bit too much. I think it's over exaggerated in this in this concept artwork. Um, if I put my archer over by the entrance, you can see it still has a nice grandeur without feeling um, over the top or um, imposing. Because when you look at it from over here. Quite nice. It's it's a nice little like boom. There's that uh, there's that attraction, and then with the roofs on this, I'm probably gonna go for uh, a Midway Mania style uh, color scheme because I really like the the red roofs and everything like that. Red roofs, uh, kind of golden lighting. Uh, I think that's gonna work really nicely. And then these will have some some interest too. I'm not sure what yet. I need to do a little research on that. But the big thing was getting the shell done. Um, and then kind of finishing up everything else. So, um, got some trees in as well. And when you enter this thing, um, there's a little bit of like a nautical, these kind of look like, um, oh, what are they called? I don't remember what they're called. Um, but there's something, something nautical, like a mollusk or something. Uh, it kind of reminded me of that. That's a new piece from Vintage. And then on the inside here, I wanted to create a little bit of a... Um, the first I had a sun that was a little brighter and yellow, and it just didn't work. It didn't recede the way that I wanted it to. And so I ended up making everything purple for the sun, because the, the sun's going to be the icon for a lot of the pier. Um, it was in the original, and I don't think it's necessarily a bad idea to kind of keep that going. The other cool thing is I've... I've done all the, the arches with all this like um, sparkly lighting so the entrance is quite stoic and then you get in and then it becomes a little bit more fun um, I'll actually I'll click it tonight real quick and you can see so there's a rotating effect on the inside um, so when you're looking at it it's subtle but you see this little animation going on in the back um, and then there's little uh, black light strips and everything so that you can get in um, pretty easily. And then the cube basically kind of, it, it condenses down quite a bit. And then it goes across the bridge, which is this first drop to the coaster. Um, and we'll, we'll figure out this. I'm going to go for more of a seaside. I want like cliffs to be right here. And I want the queue to kind of wrap around this, this little helix here so there's some interaction. Because that's another thing with the California Screaming queues. There is zero interaction for, with the, with the queue. Um, and I think that's bad. I think that's just bad design, period. But the way that, I mean, just look at this thing and then imagine having all those supports and I'm going to probably go with that aqua blue color because it just pops right off this poster. Um, I think it's going to look pretty darn sexy. And I'm really, I'm surprised with myself because this, this took a long time to do and I, I contemplated like, uh, should I really be doing this? Um, cause every piece is custom and this, this little bit will get cleaned up. You can see how dirty the back is here with all the windows and walls. I mean, it's kind of looks cool from the back though. It looks like a big, uh, cannon, but this will all get cleaned up with, with similar roofs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm super excited with how this came out. Um, I'll probably clean up these roofs a little bit too because I don't really like the large blue thing, but I, I do like the shape that they gave. This is the smallest piece, so you can see how oversized vintage is. The, oh, these little cool things too, these little uh, Baroque appliques. 
um, or part of vintage as well. And they just kind of give a little bit of that seaside vibe without without being overtly seaside or garish. So I really, really didn't want this to be garish. And when there was too much color on it, it did feel very garish. Um, I changed these lights just to, to the same light, same color, um, same color temperature. And so what ends up happening is that you've got this really cool beacon, very classy beacon. And then as you get in, it becomes more animated and cool. And um, it's kind of how a queue should be. It should draw you in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Paradise Pier. Um, you can kind of see where I'm going with it now, right? You can kind of see where my madness is leading. Um, I'm really happy with the way this came out, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, from my digital LEGO toy box, I bid you guys farewell for now. Um, but there should be, should be something in the future. I, I, I think this series is actually going to make it. <laughs> I like this format of just kind of showing you as I build. I don't, I don't really like doing time lapses, and that's why I'm going to try something different here. Um, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.